Survival games are some of the most popular upcoming style games. People love trying to drop into a world and survive. Some are brutal, some are a little bit easier to play, and there's many that we know of, but what are the ones that are upcoming that you need to keep an eye on? Well, today I have a list of 10 plus of these games that you need to keep your eye on so that you don't miss them because you have to fulfill your desire to survive. Now, as we all know, Rust is the game that came out that kind of made all of this just really popular. Well, actually, Minecraft did, but Rust does it really well in a way where it's a little bit more realistic. Now, Rust is not one of the games that we're featuring here today, although it's never a bad idea to dive into this one because it's established, it's been around for a while, and it is incredible to play, so much fun with such an active and massive community. But let's get into some that you probably haven't heard of. First on the list is Valheim. Inside of this game, you are dropped into the biome and you need to survive. And honestly, that's gonna be the element that we see in all of the games here. This is probably one of my favorite on today's list. Although it's not massively popular and huge the way that Rust or Minecraft are, this one has a ton of potential within my opinion, some of the best graphics in the survival space altogether. Brought to us by a little bit of a smaller development company that takes a little bit longer to develop things, we have a game that has still yet to explode. But I do think that this one does have the potential to be a top playing survival style game. Ark 2. Now, we all enjoyed Ark. The original Ark has been out for a very long time where you're in a world that is prehistoric. We need to create your civilization, survive against the dinosaurs, but not only that, also against the other people trying to take over everything that you create. You're gonna be able to make these dinosaurs your friends, fight alongside of them, and of course, fight against some of them as well. But this one is really nice, and it looks like Vin Diesel is actually being featured in this one as well, which in my opinion is a little bit sketchy, a little bit weird, a little bit gimmicky, but I do love dinosaurs. Jurassic Park, one of the best things ever. And I think that Ark 2 will be a massive success, as was Ark 1. Dead Matter. This one's been in development for five, six or so years. It's taking an extremely long time and it does seem that the progression along the way seems to be very, very slow. Plus nothing is really stand out about this game. With that being said, if you like zombie style survival games, this is something that we do have upcoming that you can take a liking to if you give it a try and well, if you actually like. From a quick glance, the world seems really nice, the graphics seem good, but things do look as if there's no actual gameplay as of yet. Keep an eye out for this one. It could be a potential hidden gem, but it also could be a bust. Next on the list, we have Rooted. This one's gonna be available on Steam, and it's another one of those post-apocalyptic survival games. Now, I do like these post-apocalyptic games. I really do like the whole, you know, pretending that you're in a world that has been destroyed and you need to survive afterward. It's a definitely a cool feeling. We have a lot of people that kind of vibe with that and wanna kind of partake in a world like that. Try to survive, try to make their way through it. With that being said, this one is yet to be out. It's yet to actually get too many hands on it. And it's one with potential. If you look at the artwork as we're looking at right here, I really love the look of the overgrown cities. It's something that we don't see as much in these survival style games. Typically we're just in a jungle, but here we have some human creativity that is now being destroyed along the way. But this one is another one that you should keep an eye on. State of Decay 3. Now we all know the original State of Decay titles. It's another zombie invasion where you're trying to survive and make your way through. Very focused on teamwork as are a lot of these strategy games that we're looking at here today. But this one here has a name behind it that has been successful for the past 15, maybe even 20 years. I don't know, this one definitely has good vibes. It also doesn't look like it has changed too much from its previous titles. Graphics, of course, have increased a bit, but nothing looks groundbreaking here. I don't know, it looks good. It's worth keeping an eye on, especially if you're a fan of the previous titles. Now remember guys, I need to know what you're currently playing right now, just in case it didn't make it on today's list. Whether it's on mobile, PC, or console, what is your favorite few games to play right now? I'm always taking a look in the comment section below and looking for those games that we could give a really nice highlight to so that everyone can know what's good.
Next, we have Road to Vostok. And again, another post-apocalyptic style world, but we are utilizing weapons that are just a bit more modern in this one. Combat seems like it could have a really nice potential here, and the graphics look a little bit dreary, a little bit scary, and a little bit dark maybe more than we've seen in some of the other titles that have been featured here today. Another great option for you, it's going to be available on PC and I believe console as well. Don't hold me to that. Among the Trolls is up next. We have another one that is based in the forest type theme. Very dark, but the graphics do seem really crisp in this one, and I really do love how the scenery looks overall. This one honestly doesn't have anything that stands out too much beyond the other games that we've seen, but it does definitely bring its own vibe and its own style to the survival genre. Sons of the Forest is up next, and this one is supposed to be releasing in May of this year, which looks pretty cool. We like things that are actually gonna be coming out soon. Some of the ones on today's list are coming out sooner than others. This one looks scary, looks creepy, and I mean, we have people hanging from spikes, so pretty crazy. Love the water effects inside of the game, by the way. Graphics are on point, and the game looks like it's gonna hold a lot of potential, especially since the release date is just right around the corner. It's something that we can realistically anticipate, look forward to, and uh, really get creeped out by, as you can see from the imagery we have right here on the screen. Who doesn't love a great white shark in a cave? I mean, this game, it looks pretty sick. Nightingale Realm Walker's Journey. This game right here is doing things different than everything that we've seen on the list here today, bringing in a magical and just a very fantasy style element to this game. None of the other titles that we've seen here today on this list brought in this element of gameplay, which is something that's exciting. Now, I'm not typically a fantasy style gamer. I don't typically vibe with that, but I really do like and appreciate a game being created with a different element to it. And fantasy is not what we have been seeing lately in the survival theme. Everything is typically post-apocalyptic or surviving in a world where everyone's trying to get you, but this one takes it to a different level, which could make it stand out and be really, really solid amongst the competition. This is one that I will definitely be trying out. The day before, talking about games that are just kind of post-apocalyptic, kind of the same thing. Now, they're kind of the same thing because they are all very good. People enjoy them. That's what people like to see. So taking something from the fantasy realm like we were just looking at may not actually work, but I do like the potential there. The, the being different definitely stands out to me. But this one looks like it's something that we are all already familiar with. The Day Before is a game that probably tons of people are going to dive into. You got your female character to start things out, of course, and a world that, again, has been built up only to be demolished. This one has potential to be a bit of fun. If you like survival and you like crafting, Void Train is, again, something that's very different than others that we've seen. This one is kind of in a futuristic world, a little bit magical as well, not quite the fantasy that we spoke of, this one kind of gives me a vibe of like a Bioshock style game, but with the survival style element. Really cool looking. I think the graphics are nice as well, and the game looks like it's a lot of fun. This one was actually recently just offering a free-to-play beta over on Steam, which just ended a few days ago. Definitely a game worth checking out, and one that has potential, is a bit different, has a Bioshock vibe, and could have potential. I hope you guys are excited about a few of those games as I am. There are definitely a few that I'm gonna be getting my hands on to give a test to and see if it's something that I end up playing for hundreds of hours. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on tomorrow's video.